we are uh, actually uh, standing in front of a World War I display of a uh, World War I German fighter aircraft, a Nine Decker II. Uh, it was the first uh, fighter aircraft introduced uh, in World War I. And uh, we're here to promote our event that we have uh, at the Midway Village Museum in Rockford, Illinois. It's uh, April uh, 8th and 9th, and uh, April 7th is actually a school day on a Friday. Uh, this uh, three-day event is uh, the largest World War I uh, Great War event in the country for public display. Uh, we have multiple skirmishes in their historic village of 25 buildings, and we also have main field battles that are done in a uh, trench system uh, where we have opposing trench systems that uh, total about uh, 250 yards of uh, trenches, including bunkers, uh, complete with uh, bunk beds and stoves. Uh, the event itself has a, a French cafe uh, where we serve food to the reenactors throughout the week and is also used for part of our public display uh, to talk about the French civilians that were under German occupation near Lillet, France. And uh, all of the buildings have displays that are related to various aspects of the war, either the U.S. home front, uh, the influenza epidemic of 1918, uh, a, a German uh, service club to the soldiers. Uh, we also have uh, individual displays for the various belligerents of, the, uh, of World War I for both uh, Turkey, Germany, uh, Britain, the French, early war and late war. Uh, we also have Austro-Hungarians that are there and of course the American elements that uh, joined the war effort in 1917, 100 years ago this year. This event is also recognized by the U.S. World War I Centennial Commission as one of their largest World War I reenactment events in the country.